Hello everybody, uh, my name is Nihat. Um, I will be taking you through another Steam Workshop mission uh, or scenario for the F-45A. So, uh, <clears throat> let's go into the Steam Workshop. Uh, not that way, let's go through the here. We'll pick scenario, we'll pick F-45A. <clears throat> so last time we did the Firefox uh, mission developed by Fire Firekit or Fearkit. Uh, today, we are going to look at the easy mission by Leo B or Lee Zero B, uh, whatever it is, I do apologize. So it's got lots of votes and likes uh, for many, many subs. So it is a nice little mission. It's very good for the novices. So rather than do a typical walkthrough, uh, because this is such a simple mission, I just want to go through some of the basic uh, weapon uh, methods. Uh, and some attack planning and so on. So if you're a newbie, if you're just starting out with F-45, you did, you have some experience with the previous uh, flights, this is a good mission for you to start with. So go to the Steam Workshop, find easy mission for a newbie, make sure to leave it uh, a like, and then let's go. <clears throat> so it's a very simple attack mission, low threat. So attack four enemy simple bombers. Simple attack mission with a low threat. Your objective, attack the four enemy bombers before they take off and attack the mainland. Optional, destroy the airstrip defenses before they are manned and active. There are five AA guns and one SAM site. Okay, so that's it. There are, there, bombers, there, there are four bombers. There are four bombers. There are six anti-aircraft um, units, five anti-aircraft guns, one SAM site, and four bombers, as I said. So, uh, let's let's do it in such a way that I, will, I can be I can present to you uh, a different kind of weapons so let's take two of these AGM 161 so these are uh, of long-range cruise missiles GPS guided as well with advanced waypoint management and then let's take uh, let's take two of these GBU 12 now these are laser guided bombs which means that you need to have your optical on the target and you need to keep on the targets so that the laser will be pointed to it, which the bomb will then follow. So we'll use this for the planes in motion, but then the same principle applies for any mobile uh, unit. So we got two of these. We got um, aim plus, we got two, four, five, six of these uh, because we can't put anything else. And then we have eight of these GPS guided bombs. So they're very easy, set the GPS and then drop them. So. We don't need full fuel. Let's crack on. And then I will take you through uh, different weapon systems uh, on this mission. Okay, Hotshot, you heard the briefing. Destroy the bombers and the defenses. Bear in mind that the defenses will enable in 10 minutes. Good luck, pilot. Okay, so what do you want to make sure before we go on? is that if you go to your weapon management store management system and then you go to config and you select your gbu 39s so it needs to say target mode auto basically what that means is you have four targets then you can just click 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 and the automatic system will cycle through the targets for you otherwise you will have to go on the gps and then move to the next target every time which is what you have to do when you're dealing with AGM-161, and I'll show you that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these two to destroy the sum. This will be the first target we see, <clears throat> and then we will use the we will use the GBU-39s <clears throat> to destroy the other remaining five anti-aircraft um, guns, and then we will we'll try to destroy as many planes with the uh, laser-guided bombs or GBU-12, and then. If they start to move on the runway, if they take off, we're going to use the AM9 to destroy them. Also about the AM9+, Plus, make sure that your tracker is set to head. Basically, if you go to your store management system, you go to here, and then seek mode is head track. That means that you can fly straight, and you can shoot a plane over here, and then the rocket will go up there. They are most efficient when you're firing straight from the plane, because they will maintain the speed, uh, but this gives you a far greater flexibility. <clears throat> okay, so let's do the um, 
sequence. Uh, ATC, this is Alpha 1-1. One, one. Permission to take off. ATC, this is Alpha 1-1. One, one. Uh, requesting landing. Oh my god, not landing. ATC, this is Alpha 1-1. One, one. Requesting takeoff. Okay, my radio is not <clears throat> working. <clears throat> I so apologize. So let's do aircraft carrier takeoff. Alpha one one, you're clear to taxi to Cat four. Okay, so we're gonna use our tactical display, and we're gonna use our optical display. So we're gonna select targets here, send them to the EOTS, add a GPS point in the in in those, and then fire off. So let's go. Break off. Make sure to put the launch bar down. Put the wings down. Make sure to save once before you go to the mission. Just so if you get shot, you can come back here. Okay, here we go. Okay, we already have the sand site on our radar. Okay, so let's send that to the EOTS. Now, now we can see there are two targets. So we're gonna use this, this as a center of interest. Then we're gonna say GPS send for the first one, GPS send for the second one. Then you're gonna select, select your cruise missile. And then, then switch here. You just have to switch to the GPS points. As I said, the cruise missiles, they don't have an automatic cycling mode. So here you are, you are shooting the first target. Okay, there it goes. Then select the next one. And then click again. There it goes. Okay, there is it. There are both of them. Okay, so now that this is done, we can delete this group. We don't need that anymore. So let's use our optical because we don't see the, tar the rest of the anti-aircraft guns here. Let's use the optical targeting. Okay, so we have one GPS send, two GPS send, three GPS send, four GPS send, and then five. GPS sent. And now, cycle to your GBU 39s. Okay, so now when the targets are in this smaller circle, hold your trigger and then use your weapon swap button and click five times. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now you could see how the system was cycling through. Okay, we're gonna let the bombs do their thing. We're gonna clear out our GPS uh, targets. We don't need them anymore. And now we are going to find. Okay, there, there is. Okay, one is in motion. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the GBU 12, and we're gonna destroy this airplane whilst it's moving. Let's hope we do it in time. If you switch on night vision, you're gonna be able to see. Oops, this is too bright. Okay, so Looks like all defenses are down. now we are pointing. We are pointing to the to this plane, and then the target, as you can see, is approaching. Shoot. So press and hold the trigger. Actually, you don't have to. This one is automatically uh, going out. And now we have to stay. We have to make sure that the plane is in our optical sight. Maybe we are a bit too late. Over T. Over T. Over T. Over T. Okay, almost. You see, it already took off. But the bomb missed him by a little. Let's switch to the AIM-9. Shoot. Okay. Over we need one more. Shoot. 
And there we go. One bomber down. So let's see what's happening with the next ones. Okay, another one is taking off. Let's use the aim nine. Okay, one more. Okay, that one's done too. Okay, there is another one prepping to take off on the runway. Let's shoot it. One more. Altitude. Okay. Altitude. And then let's use the guns. Altitude. Altitude. On the last one. Okay. So now we're gonna switch to the map. It's gonna say nav. And then we have our RTB. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to, you're going to fly back to your carrier. We're not going to do a conventional landing. That's a little bit too complicated. We're not going to do a VCAP landing. That's also a bit complicated. We're going to do an ordinary uh, vertical landing using just our throttle and our engine um, tilt. At the moment, the engine tilt is zero, which means we are flying fully horizontally. So, when we get to the carrier, uh, we're going to make circles around the carrier to lose the speed. To about 200 250 and then we will change our angle and then try to land so we're gonna say comms atc aircraft carrier a vertical landing alpha one one tower copy Sci heading one five nine sorry my vr is fogging up it can't see thing What you can also use here is the EOTS. We're gonna switch to color. And now we're gonna go zoom all the way back. And we're gonna use this to look to look to the carrier or where we are landing. Uh, and we're gonna look through the plane. That's very that's that helps a lot. So let's move it to forward for the time being. Okay, and now reduce speed and then let's circle around the carrier when we get there because when you do this Over look at your speed Over it is going down like Over that so this is the most effective way for you to slow down alpha one one tower clear to land on cap zero one pilot be advised enemy air defenses are online Over Overkey. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay, and Landing now gear. switch your tilt as you're turning Landing gear. to 90 degrees. Landing gear. Landing gear. 300, 300, 200. Okay, that's okay. And now you can level yourself up. And then manage your altitude. The carrier is below us. We're gonna make just another round. The speed is okay. So keep an eye on your vertical descent and then add throttle as necessary. That's where we need to be landing. But if you can't land on that point, doesn't matter, land anywhere in the carrier, that will be fine. Just make sure you don't drop down.
Okay, so there you go. That will be our first mission done. So there are many ways you can do this. I chose to use a combination of three different bombs, but you can only use, you can use the GPS, um, GPS guided bombs, the um, GPU 39s, uh, you can use the laser bombs, you can use also some of those um, long range cruise missiles, you can shoot them out with guns, you can use normal Mark 83 uh, bombs, whatever. It's a very easy mission, you're not gonna get shot at. Um, you won't, you've heard the message that the anti aircraft defenses are online, and that was long after we destroyed them. So, um, so this is a fun little mission, good to practice. So, I thoroughly recommend it. Go to the Steam Workshop, leave it a like, and, and have fun. Bye.